Uh, I worked for a bank, uh, Bank of Scotland, um, for 26 years before I joined ERA, uh, predominantly on the asset finance side. Started um, with a business called Godfrey Davis, which ran a contract hire business. And 26 years later, uh, I was sales director, um, and uh, I left the bank to join ERA. This was in credit crunch time, so 2008, 2009. It was just as Lloyds was taking over HBOS, which Bank of Scotland had become part of. And as Lloyds were coming over the horizon, I had an opportunity to jump ship on a good package, knowing in my heart that within 18 months, uh, I'd probably be um, leaving on a much poorer package. I knew ERA because they'd introduced some business to us uh, in our sector, and um, just started discussing what to do. There were no real corporate roles around at that point, certainly for not sales directors in the corporate marketplace. Um, I met with ERA, spoke with um, the business, and uh, took the plunge, so to speak, in early 2009. We've had the highest revenues for the last three years running, so I suppose that's something to be um, uh, proud of. Predominantly, it's actually being your own boss and deciding which way you want to take something. Having coming from a banking background when compliance with a capital C is everything, uh, been able to be flight of foot um, and do um, and move to a direction or a process that you want to take, uh, I think is um, something that appeals greatly. The last um, three years, uh, or four years, should I say, I've forgotten, we have won highest individual earnings award uh, for the last four years. Depending if you want to move into a consultancy practice, which we're now starting to look where there's more than just one person. Um, our next milestone that we want to get through is half a million uh, net revenues um, and we firmly believe that we can get into seven-figure territory. Uh, depending on what you're doing and how you're doing it, you can scale it up um, as long as you have backroom office um, and enough front-end support. Uh, I suppose the next tick um, in the success box is getting us through the 500,000 turnover net um, aspirations after that are we are looking to double our client base in the next two and a half years which should treble our revenue. We're looking to scale up, build real value into the, in the, into the consultancy rather than with a lot of uh, franchise operations um, of this nature. Um, I, you know, your key front, uh, consultant gets knocked over by a bus and the business is dead. Um, the dream now is to build some value into the business so it becomes a, uh, a definitive asset. We have much more um, flexibility of what to do, when, how. I wouldn't call it lifestyle business, certainly, and that's not where I want to take it, but what it's allowed is uh, a freedom to do other things. So um, I've started investing in fine wine, for example, which um, um, has been very interesting. Um, and although, unfortunately, it's a bonded warehouse, I can't get my hands on it. So, um, so it gives you that greater scope um, to have a, um, a lifestyle of your choice. Well, I think, um, you know, earning a comfortable living uh, has its own benefits for your family so that you can afford the holidays, um, other costs, private education, whatever the case may be. Um, again, it's that freedom to allow you to dictate which way you wish to move with your family rather than being thought of as being stuck in a rut in a corporate job where um, process compliance, particularly from the banking background, um, can um, constrain you, shall we say. Have confidence in yourself and I suppose when you're fresh into ERA, use your network that you've just left because it goes very cold very quickly.